Hi guys, welcome today. We're going to have a look at shortcuts in Excel. So we've all done the Control C and Control V. It's one of the first ones that we always learn when we learn Excel. Control C is for copy, Control V is for paste. Now there are a number of other shortcuts which go all the way from Control A all the way up to Control Z. And these are 26 that we're going to have a look at today. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got my keyboard set up in the UK setup. You may have yours in the US or a different country, so you might find some slight variations on the shortcuts that I use. Let's get to it. Okay, so Control A selects everything. Control B, it bolds. Control C, copies. So Control C and Control V, which is down here, is a pasting function that is used together. So Control C, which we've already done, and Control V copies exactly what you've copied. This, of course, works on a number of different cells as well. So if you control C there, you have control V there. Okay. Control D is pretty interesting. So if we just copy this across to there and we do control D, what that does is copies exactly what's on top of the cell above it. So if we do control D under this, control D, we get the same cell that's on top of that. Control E is for flash fill. So if we just type in numbers across here and then we start to type in the series here, you could just press Control E. It detects the pattern from the left and there you have it. So you could do the suggestions and you could have it differently if it didn't work for you. Control F, that's find. So it opens up your dialog box over here and you can find whatever you're searching for. And you can use that control F for that. Control G, it's also another function where it's a go to, so you may go onto the special and have a look at the different cells here. Control H is a replace function, so it works together with the control F. You find something and you may want to replace it. Then we have control I, and what that does is just make the text italic. Justify, we would use this in different functions when you have text. So you'd press Control J and it justifies the text. And now we have Control K that opens up a hyperlink and that you can put that into different sheets and you could have it in an existing place, email address, whatever you would like to open. So let's just try Google here, link into that and it opens us the screen of Google. If we go into Control L, it creates a table for us. So if we want our table to have headers, etc., you could just basically do that. There we go, it creates a table. Now, this creates a hanging indent, and that's mainly for text. If we want to open up a new document, this is what we do, Control N, and we have a new document that opens up. If we want to open up an existing document, Control O, and then you have all of your sheets here that you were working on. Okay, now we wanna work on Control P, which opens up the print dialog, and that's if you want to use it for printing. Let's go back. Control Q is for quick analysis. And Control Q works on data. So if we just type in a set of numbers, highlight them, and Control Q, you have a dialog box that opens up different formats for numbers. And then we have Control R. So that copies things from the left. If we try Control R here, there you go, it copies the left cell. Control S saves the document. And there you go, saving. Control T also creates a table for us. There you go. You can create a table. Control U underlines the text. Uh, control V is used together with the Control C function over here. So if we try Control V here, it takes literally what we have put in the hyperlink here. Control W will come to it right at the end because that closes the sheet. Control X cuts. So here we go. We'll cut that and control X and control V work hand in hand. So it cuts the cell here and pastes it here. And if we do control Z first, have a look at this, it undoes what we've just done. And if we want to redo it, we do control Y 
it redoes that action. And finally, let's do Control W to close the sheet. We want to save it. Yes, we do. Hope you've learned something useful today. And if you did, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you want to continue your learning, please feel free to go onto the videos, which are just over here and follow through.